folks, Scott Norris here. Today I would like to do a countdown of some of my favorite Photoshop keyboard shortcuts. I decided to count down because it's fun. There's no particular order to these, but uh, it should be fun. So let's get started. Number 10. First, let's look at the toolbar. To find the shortcut for a tool, just hover over the tool with your mouse and the name of the tool and the keyboard shortcut will pop up. For example, hitting B on your keyboard will select a brush tool. Now you may notice the little arrow down here in the lower right hand corner of the brush tool and some of the others. This means there are multiple options for the tool. To access those options, you can click and hold and view the options or you can click shift plus the letter, in this case shift B, and cycle through the options. Number nine. To change the brush size without going to your brush panels, you can use the open and close bracket keys. The open bracket will make your mouse, your cursor smaller, and the close bracket will make your brush bigger. Now another way to do this on the PC is alt right click and then drag, and on the Mac it is uh, control option and drag. If you do that and drag left or right, you can see the brush gets bigger and smaller and up and down changes the hardness of the brush. Number eight, we'll stick with the brush on this. If you want to select a color from your image to, to paint with, you don't have to go up to your eyedropper tool. If you click Alt on your keyboard or Option on the Mac, the eyedropper will come up and you can select a color. Now also, it's, the color comes down here in the background and foreground uh, swatches here. If you want to switch that without having to click here, just hit Shift X and that will shift it. So I can select another color using the Alt or Option tool. And there's my color. Number seven. To create a new layer in your Layers panel, you can come down here and click the New Layer icon or the keyboard shortcut for that is Control Shift Alt N on the PC or Command Shift Option N on the Mac and that will create a new layer for you. Number six, to fill a selected layer with a color from your background foreground swatches here on your toolbar, if you do Alt Delete or Option Delete on the Mac, you can fill with the foreground. If you do Control Delete or Command Delete, you can fill it with the background. Number five, to cycle through the blending modes in your layer palette, you first have to make sure that one of these tools are selected and then click Shift and the plus equals sign or the minus sign on the top of the keyboard and you can cycle through all of your blending modes up and down. Number four, at some point you may want to flatten your image, flatten your layers, but actually keep your layers at the same time. There's a simple way to do this. If you do Control Alt Shift E or Command Option Shift E, it will take everything that's visible and stamp it and actually keep your layers. Number three, let's say you want to scale your image. To do that, it's uh, Control or Command T and uh, you can drag any of the handles here. One of the issues that you might run into is you've done that but you want to get this handle that's up here on the top. How do you do that? It's command or control zero and that will that will uh, frame your transform outline here. One other trick that you can use is if you just hold control or command while you're moving these handles it'll switch to the distort tool so you can distort your image at the same time. Very cool little trick. Number two. Here's a little trick when you're using the marquee tool to select. Let's say you want to select the pier here and you you start your selection but you realize oh wait I don't want it to start there I want it to start at the end of the pier. Normally what you'd have to do is stop and then hit control D to deselect and then come back and select. If you're doing this and you start like that if you hold the space bar down you can move your selection tool to where you want it and then continue and then as long as you hold your mouse 
this, you can release and then do the space bar again to move. So I'm still holding my mouse. I release, do my marquee, and I hold the space bar back down, and then I can move this to where I want it to go. And finally, number one. If you zoom into your image and want to zoom back out and see wh where you are, but go right back to the same zoom level, all you do is click the, the, the Z key to get your zoom tool. You can zoom in. Say we want to zoom in on the pier here, but I want to see the whole image. If you click and hold the H key for the little hand tool, you can zoom out, see your whole image, and then move this little guide to where you want, which is the pier, and zoom right back in. Well, that's it. That's my countdown of Photoshop keyboard shortcuts. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.